Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Now this is a very, very special update from Thought Park Resort as after the Big reveal of Project Exodus opening in 2023-24 time. Um, we've got some brand new details on some of the future um, sort of development at Thought Park Resort and the long-term sort of domino effect from Project Exodus. So before we get started with all of those details, please do like the video if you've loved it, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, click the notification bell so you don't miss YouTube video. Go ahead to the description down below for the social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's get straight on to it. Let's try and hit 3,000 as soon as possible. 3,000 subscribers and and 1 million views. And you know what? Let's set a like target for this video. Let's get to... 25 likes. That would be at least amazing. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Thought Park's long-term future. So this information comes from the original public consultation, the uh, one yet to attend in person, and this information is from Attraction Source. So big shout out to them for the uh, statements from this video. So this was sort of taken off, sort of after the consultation. So. There are no current plans to remove any existing coasters following the opening of Project Exodus. So all the current coasters in the park um, are safe. So if you are not a coaster guru and you don't know uh, a lot about the coasters already existing at Thought Park Resort, I'm going to run through them very, very quickly. Uh, you've got Colossus, which is the world's first 10 looping roller coaster. Uh, you've got the uh, hashtag the power of 10. Uh, you've got Flying Fish. Uh, which is, of course, the family coaster, the powered coaster. And you've got Nemesis Inferno, which is the Bolligro Mabian Inverter coaster. The one that I felt was most at risk, or one of the two that's most at risk, saw the ride, the Gerslai Eurofighter. So there's no long term plans of that leaving now. Uh, Stealth, the Intamin Accelerator, Swarm, the BM Wing coaster, and also the Walking Dead, the ride. Again, another ride that I felt was going to be in some kind of danger. Um, in the long term at the park that saw the ride on Walking Dead the ride was sort of the two coasters out of all of them that I was sort of worried about the most but looks like they're not going anywhere now the other statements include exploring options for slammers removal hope to provide an update in the coming months so fingers crossed in the next couple of months next few months we'll be hearing more about the removal of slammer and potentially could we see a brand new flat ride there now, next up, future Fright Nights attractions will be based indoors, as seen with trailers in 2021. More durable, immersive, and successful. So, there will be more indoor attractions on future Fright Nights events. Now, of course, you know, there was a, there was a couple of sort of outdoor-y um, elements on Fright Nights attractions in the past. You know, you've seen outdoor elements of the Blair Witch, um... You've seen outdoor elements like the, like, I guess you could use the queue line of My Bloody Valentine, for example, in the old Fort Park Arena. Um, but it looks like this is all going to be based indoors now, so, I mean, more's the same, more theming, so that's pretty good. Um, they're not looking to bring the hotel plans forward currently. They'll get the first going to grow the short break viability through the addition of attractions. That's very exciting. The fact we're going to hear, hear about the addition of brand new attractions to the park. This final statement is the one that gets me the most and gets me the most excited. Resort is aiming to become an established as a thrill attraction within the UK and Europe. Project Exodus is the first step with appetite to do more over the next five to ten years. This decade is the decade, from the sounds of it, of Thought Park Resort. This is going to be the decade of the park. Uh, now, before we get into uh, specifics as to what I think could be coming, I'm going to share my thoughts on what's happened with that. 
So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about the uh, information on the future long term of Thought Park Resort from the addition of Project Exodus onwards. So, what can we summarize from that? The looking at the possibility of removing Slammer with an update coming in, f in future months. Um, Fright Night's attractions of the future will be based indoors for more immersiveness and it's more dutiful. Um, they want to focus on the short-term viability growth with the new with the addition of new attractions before they can bring even think about bringing forward the plans for a hotel. And you know, there's no coasters going before Project Exodus opens, so it, it, it's all coming together. And they want to be an established thrill attraction in the UK and Europe, and they want to do so with the first step as Project Exodus, and then over the next five to ten years. So this will grow into the next decade, in my opinion. This will go into the next decade for the next generation of fans. So it's all coming together amazingly. So. The future of Thought Park sounds very, very bright. Now, you're probably thinking, what do I think they're going to do? I probably will do a more detailed video on this um, at some point. Maybe not this year. I might wait until next year. Until we uh, start seeing more stuff around the area. But I personally feel like this could be a real opportunity now for Thought Park Resort to really grow the theme park and the resort um, as the big thrill attraction they want to establish themselves within the UK and Europe. So there's a million different things they could do. They could bring in some new thrill rides, bring in some new thrill attractions, could be more coasters, you never know. It could be more than just Project Exodus. There could be more coasters coming to the park. They could use some of the old sites that were up for discussion on the medium-term development plan back in 2010-11 times uh, and go from there. Or they might look at some new sites, who knows. Um, they could refurbish some attractions, give coasters or a coaster or two a, a new lease of life if the Saw IP runs out or the Walking Dead IP runs out and they need to revert something back to an original theme or bring something back. I feel like this is a real opportunity now. So, Thought Park Resort have the world in their hands. They really, really do. They've got a real opportunity here to make up for, I'd say, six, seven, maybe even nearly eight years of minimal investment. I, I think, you know, let's look back to, I mean, if you take Black Mirror Labyrinth out, which was, don't get me wrong, a brilliant addition, the last real big addition they had was 2016. That was Darren Brown's Ghost Train. They had I'm a Celebrity in 2015. They had Angry Birds Land in 2014. They had the retheme to X and the crash pads and everything like that and the swarm backwards in 2013. So, I feel like this is a real opportunity now for Thought Park to establish themselves. So, big up Thought Park. That's going to be it for this video. My name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. <laughs>